It is my very great pleasure. Sorry, it is my very great pleasure to welcome you all, both online and on site, to the third YATIS training event on corpora and tools in translator training, which is being held today at the Institute of Translation and Multilingual Communication of Cologne University of Applied Sciences. The use of corpora has now found its way into both the theoretical descriptive and applied branches of translation studies. Many publications have pointed to the great potential of corpora as resources for both professional and trainee translators and as teaching and learning aids in the classroom. Federico Zanettin, Silvia Bernardini and Dominic Stewart rightly claim that the application of corpora in translator training, and I quote, stands at the interface between translation and language teaching and learning the expectation being that competent use of corpora and corpus analysis tools will enable students to become better language professionals in a working environment where computational facilities for processing text have become the rule rather than the exception. So applied corpus-based translation studies, a term coined by these authors, has now been firmly established as a promising research area with the corpus being a versatile methodological tool. This online event is aimed at stimulating debate on current and future trends in corpus-based translator training <clears throat> and at critically appraising current practices. It will focus on strategies, usability and technology in the use of corpora and discuss a variety of aspects such as corpora used to investigate translation strategies and to test theories and hypotheses, such as the hypotheses related to the translation universals paradigm. The main focus of this event will be on corpus types that are particularly relevant to translator training. For example, do-it-yourself or ad hoc corpora involving retrieval of reliable corpus texts from the internet, corpora used as learning aids or as an interactive reference grammar in translator training, and the integration of corpora into translation competence models such as the PACTI and EMT competence models or Susanne Göpfer's transla translation competence model. In this context, various translation relevant strategies for querying the Internet as a macro corpus, web concordances and other tools will be presented that help trainee translators to complete specific translation tasks in classroom situations that aim to simulate professional settings as closely as possible. Allow me just one organizational note at this point. There will be time to answer your questions during the discussion after we have heard all three talks. Please use the chat window later and indicate the name of the speaker you wish to address. So without further ado, let me introduce our first speaker Professor Dr. Silvia Bernardini from the University of Bologna at Forlì. There she is Associate Professor at the School of Languages and Literatures, Translation and Interpreting, at the Department of Interpreting and Translation. Also, she is the Director of the MA course in Specialized Translation. Her research activities focus on corpus-based studies of translation between Italian and English, including the investigation of translation strategies applied to phraseology, and on the construction and the use of corpora for professional, pedagogical and research purposes. More recently, she has been looking at mixed communicative events, including non-native, translated or lingua franca usage, to test the hypotheses related to the translation universals paradigm. Recent research has also included an investigation of institutional academic English as a lingua franca published on university websites in Italy and other non-English speaking European countries. In her talk today, she will focus on corpora as learning aids in the translation classroom and on their contribution to the development of specific EMT, European Masters in Translation Competences. So the topic of her talk today is 
Educating Translators with Corpora, Exploratory Learning Revisited. So Sylvia, a very good morning to you and thank you for joining us online. It's your turn now. 